Hey everyone, okay, so I am going to show you guys how to make a butterfly hair clip. Now I'm making these, um, you can go in little girl's hair, um, but anyways, I'm making these actually for a butterfly release we have coming up in October. I had to make um, 200 of them. So far I've got 135 made, so I've got like 65 more left to go. Um, I'm doing boy colors and girl colors, and anyways. Um, I figured since I was making them, I might as well make a quick tutorial on them. Um, I think they're really cute. And, um, I'll probably make some for baby girl's hair um, once I get all these done. But anyhow, what you'll need is um, one, two, three, four, five pieces of ribbon. I have used, um, let me see, it doesn't have a name. I bought the ribbon on eBay, but um, it's just a sheer ribbon. I don't even know if you can see that. It's just a sheer ribbon. Um, so you've got an eight and a half inch piece of sheer ribbon and a six and a half inch piece of sheer ribbon. And then you also have um, two pieces of uh, ribbon. These are a quarter inch and these here were three eighths inch. Um, the quarter inch ribbon that I'm using is seven inches long and then the other one is five inches long and then you have a piece of gross grain ribbon um, that you're going to use to line your alligator clip with and this one is one two three four about almost four and a half inches <clears throat> I didn't measure this one um, and then a piece of corker ribbon now I'm not going to show you how to make the corker ribbon um, it's really easy to make you can uh, look up um, on YouTube how to make corker ribbon but for time's sake I actually ordered a whole bunch of corker ribbon that was already made up just so that I could get these done fairly quickly so anyways um, you'll need a piece of corker ribbon we're actually going to cut that down um, to size and I think it's probably about about a two inch piece that we'll use maybe a little over two inches um, so anyways and you also want to have a lighter or some type of heat sealer um, to seal the ends of your ribbon so that they don't spray and of course your hot glue gun which is about to leak uh, <laughs> so anyhow um, the first thing you're going to want to do is heat seal the ends of your ribbon so that they don't fray and so I'll just do that really quick on um, all of them so that we can just get started and do the whole process but they don't take very long and I think they turn out pretty cute okay so all my ends are sealed and then the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the alligator clip now this is a double prong you can use a single prong too um, but I just happen to order the double prongs and um, so yeah when you line your clip you're going to want to line the inside of your clip first and we're just going to partially line it so you're going to put some hot glue on this part first and it doesn't take a whole lot I just put a little stream a little streak of glue down one prong and then a little strip of glue down the other prong and then I just stick it right in there and lay it down and press it okay so that's one side glued on and then you're going to do the same thing put glue down each prong here no please don't touch that don't touch it we don't touch outlets mm -mm. no we can't touch that you want some ribbon to play with you want some ribbon look here here's some ribbon say thanks mom yeah oh it's in your hair <laughs> right here <laughs> okay and so um sorry about that and then you just like I said put a little glue down each of the prongs on the front pull it down press it yeah can you go get it and then you're gonna put a little glue right here that down so we have the top half 
done. And then we just pull all the way down. Now, some people put it in here and glue it like that. And then glue it on the inside. But I just prefer to do it like that. Um, and it works just as well. So, anyhow, then you're going to put a little glue on the back of your clip. Push it down. And now you have a partially lined alligator clip. Now, you could fully line it and continue to line here and then line on the inside. And that is supposed to help um, when you're putting bows in little girls' hair who have thin hair. It's supposed to help like make it hold better. But um, like I said, this is for a butterfly release um, that I'm doing. Um, so not everybody's actually going to be putting these in children's hair, so I'm just um, doing it easy and quickly. <laughs> but um, so, anyways, that's the lined alligator clip. The next step will be putting on the the sheer ribbon on the outside. So you're going to take your eight-inch piece, and I don't know which is which. I'll have to see here. Okay, so you take your eight-inch piece of ribbon. And you're going to fold it in half. And then when you find your center part, you're going to pinch it and just hold it tight while you take your glue and put a little drop of glue in the center. And then when you do that, you're going to take the crease that you've just made by pinching it and put that right in the middle of your um, glue dot. And then I just push it down. Be careful your glue can be hot and burn your finger. Um, because this um, satin ribbon or the sheer ribbon, the glue can come through. And then you're going to do the same thing with your six and a half, uh, six and a half inch ribbon. You're just going to pinch it in the middle so you can make a crease. Add another glue dot, and you're going to add the glue dot below the one you just did. And then you're going to lay this one down in the middle as well below that one. Press it in. Okay, and so then you have it looks like I'm sorry, I'm, I'm kind of sitting at a funny angle. So it looks like that. Like that. Okay. So your next step is we're gonna create the little loops here. So you're gonna put glue on this back piece. Let's see if I can show you. Okay, so you have the ribbon, and you're actually going to put the glue on the back of the end because the ribbon is going to come around like that. So you hold the ribbon, and it comes around, and the back half is going to go on there. And you're only going to put half of it on because the ribbon is so wide that you're going to put half on, and then the other half is going to hang off like that. So you just want to put a little, enough glue to cover that one end. So I'm just going to put a drop of glue right there, pull it around, and it right in the middle. And that creates one loop. And then you're going to do the same thing for this one. You're just going to bend it back, and it's going to go right directly beside it. And we'll create our next loop. A little glue on the end. And just line it up. Okay, and so then you have the two pieces lined up right in the center of your clip. And then we're going to do the same thing for the bottom. We're just going to take the loop, turn backwards, and we're just going to line them up so that they match up in the center of the clip.
Okay, so we've got the second one done. And so now it looks like this. So you have the two pieces glued on the little corners in the very center. And so your next step is going to be to add your satin ribbon. You're going to add your long piece, which is your 7 inch piece, right over top of the first piece you laid down. So your same process, just bend it in the middle. Pinch it, make a crease. You're going to put just a little drop of glue right in the middle of the first two ribbons, that, the first ribbon that you laid down. Then you're going to find your crease and lay that right on top of that. Press it down. Then you're going to do the same thing for the bottom one. Let me show you where we're at now. So right like that. And then you're going to add another drop of glue right in the middle. Let me start creasing this one first. So I get a good crease before I lay it down. Crease it in the middle. And then just add your drop of glue right to the middle. And then lay this in the middle as well. Okay. So you have it like that. And then you're going to take <coughs> your um, two top strings and you're going to put a little glue down the back and you're actually going to cover both pieces of the ribbon just in the middle so you're going to pull it down to the second one just like that so you're going to cover both sides with one but you want to keep it lined up with the first ribbon on that side so that everything lines up in the middle then you're going to do the same thing with the other one. A little glue on the back. And then line it up right beside that first one that you laid down. You'll have glue strings everywhere probably, but they come off really easy. Okay, so... Now it looks like this. Then you're going to do the same thing for this, the back part. You're just going to bend it back. But instead of going over both of them this time, you're just going to go down to that one. So you're not going to cross over both. So right to the middle. Okay, so you bring the second one right to the middle where these two meet. Do the same on the other side. Okay, so you have your two pieces together in the middle. And now the only <clears throat> thing left to do is to put your corker ribbon on. And I thought I had scissors with me, and of course I don't. So let me grab the scissors, and I'll cut that down to size. Okay, sorry about that. So we're going to put it in the middle. And like I said, these were um, bought on eBay. I think I got 100 of them for just, I mean, it wasn't much. It was just a couple dollars. But um, they're really easy to make from what I've seen online. I just <clears throat> didn't have the extra time or the patience to do that. So don't forget to heat seal your ends so that it doesn't fray. And then you're just going to put this in the center. And I like to put the glue on this as opposed to actually on the, the clip itself. Um, so I just start at the very top and I add glue all the way down. And I leave one ribbon on the bottom without glue, one, one loop. And then I just stick it right down in the middle. And the reason I leave one without glue on the bottom is because part of the bottom is hanging off. 
and um, I made the mistake of putting glue on two of them and then you can see it from the back and it's just not really pretty and you could cut that little extra piece off but I think it's cute to have it on there so and that is the butterfly clip and now I've seen some where you can put little antennas on them but I think it's just cute just like it is um, so anyways if you have any questions or comments you can leave them below but I thought I would share that with you guys today so anyhow that's it thanks for watching bye guys